Hello everyone. So, this is a follow-up to some development work I've done for MuseScore's Piano Roll Editor, and now it's fully integrated into MuseScore version 3.7. Now, you might be saying to yourself, hold on, isn't MuseScore in version 4.2 now? And didn't the 3 series stop with 3.6.2? Well, that's true. However, the 3 series is still being used and even developed past its last official release. Jojo Schmitz, a longtime developer on the MuseSquare project, has been keeping the 3 branch unofficially alive and been updating it with features and bug fixes. There's even a large community of MuseSquare users still using the 3 branch. If you'd like to try MuseSquare 3.7, also known as MuseSquare Evolution, for yourself, you can just follow the instructions on its homepage to download the artifacts that you need. Anyhow, I didn't realize myself for a long time that the 3 branch was still alive, which is why I held this off for so long. And given that there's no sign that the MuseScore team is adding a piano roll editor to the 4 series, I thought that backporting it to 3.7 would at least let some folks use it. A few people I've chatted with at MuseScore say they are interested in using my code for a piano roll in 4 eventually, but no details on how we might move forward with that. The changes to the Piano Roll Editor let you use it more like a DAW. It's not exactly the same though, since MuseScore measures notes in fractions of the beat, while most DAWs use ticks. Also, some of the action buttons have changed their functions since the 3.6.2 release. So, on to the changes. You can open the Piano Roll Editor by right-clicking in the white space in between several notes in the staff that you're interested in, and going down to where it says Piano Roll Editor. This will open up the editor and uh, you can move around in it. If you use the mouse wheel you can scroll up and down. If you hold down Shift you can scroll left and right. If you hold down Control at the same time you can resize it vertically and horizontally. That's Control and Shift. And new uh, with this release, if you middle click and drag you can reposition the viewport so you can look at whatever section you want to. The selection tool is the little pink dotted rectangle. Make sure that's selected, and when that is, you can click note and to select and drag it around. If you want to move several notes, you can drag a rectangle over them and then move them as a group. And new in uh, this version, uh, or the update, if you have a group of notes and you click and drag on their endpoints, you can change the note length. And the same thing if you do that with the starting points. Now you might see that there are some red vertical lines on the bars there. Uh, that indicates tie lengths because unlike a traditional DAW where uh, each note is independent, in MuseScore you have to tie together notes in order to make sure that they match up with the other notes in your staff. Uh, but other than that, uh, you can just use this, click and drag notes uh, to you know, reposition them as you please. The Add tool now lets you add notes by clicking and dragging in the uh, note area. Just make sure that the Add tool is selected, and then you can click and drag in the block area to add in a new block, and if you want to add in a second one, just click and drag a second one. Uh, once you have clicked and dragged in a block, you can see it appear in the score above, and if you simply click, then a new note block will be added that is the same length as the note block you just drew. You can use this, for example, to make, quickly put in a series of quarter notes. Just drag in a block that's the length of a quarter note, and then you can just click to place all the other notes that you want. The Change Playback Length tool has been changed so that it changes the playback length as opposed to a notation length. Since the Select and Add tools both change notation lengths now, if you select on the Change Playback Length tool, uh, you will see the note grid switch to a different color to notify you that you're in this new mode, and then you can click and drag on the endpoints of a note to change the duration. Now this is the playback duration, not the notation duration. If you look at the score, you can see the note length hasn't changed. But if you play the score, then you are going to hear the note play back at a different time. You can also select and drag the start of the note to change the on time of the note. 
And if you look in the grid below, you can see how uh, this is changing the on times and the off times of the playback events of each and every note. And of course, if you select multiple notes, you can drag the ends of both of them at the same time. So those are the updates. I'm not sure when MuseScore 4 will finally get around to adding a piano roll editor to the 4 series, but until then, you can use these updates in the MuseScore 3.7 evolution. If you find this development work useful and want to help support me, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon, or make a one-time donation on Ko-fi. And please, click on the like and subscribe buttons below this video to show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>